All right. Mm -hmm. Last time I said anything about this to you, mm -hmm. I was talking about how I would finish the run in time mm -hmm. for the Fiesta deadline, and then we'll finish recording afterwards for the sake of continuity. Now here is the question I was going to ask you. Since Fiesta is over, and I've already finished the run, should I honor the Fiesta to the end? Mm. Or do the laws of the universe mean nothing anymore? I don't know. I think the laws just decided they don't matter. It's Final Fantasy V. Might as well go by whatever the hell Final Fantasy V does. So you're saying that the laws of the universe mean nothing? Yes, they do. They mean nothing to me. Then prepare for the ultimate power. And I coordination. Uh, that's not really the ultimate power, but sure. Talk about the water bottle I just dropped. <laughs> Silly. That's okay, I'll cut that out. So, Fiesta is over. Officially, it ended on August 31st. Yep. So now that this is just a normal old <laughs> Final Fantasy V, the laws of the universe mean nothing. So we're doing what? So everybody who's mastered all four jobs is going to become a freelancer, otherwise known as Bear. Yay! Freelancer is actually the best job in the game. Oh. But it's only the best based on your masteries. Freelancer inherits all of the passives of your master jobs. And it also inherits all of the stat boosts of the jobs that you've mastered. Mm -hmm. okay. So, the normal freelancer starting out, which is the job you start with, their stats are all around 20-ish, and there's variants based on the character. Okay. Ferris right now is a freelancer. Her lowest is f magic power, uh -huh. which is 40. Okay. Freelancer can also equip anything. Mm-hmm. Anything. And mm -hmm. because I mastered ninja, they can also dual wield. Mm -hmm. So while everyone else is going to finish up with their cosplay party, mm -hmm. Ferris is going to be, um, how do you say, wrecking face. Okay. Good for her. Now, to prepare for this, uh, <coughs> the coming onslaught. It's time to go buy some equipment. Mm -hmm. Because right now, probably our best bet is to have just a bunch of black robes. In order mm -hmm. to have good magic defense and okay-ish physical defense, but we're gonna have high HP because of the monk, so... Okay. It's already gonna be cool. 
So, has anyone ever done a freelancer after mastering all the jobs? Oh, you mean like grinding until you know every single job in the game? Yes. Yeah. And have they beat him very easily? Well, by then you don't really need most of them. Well, if no. you're just playing like normal Final Fantasy V, the game- or the games. The jobs that you normally want to master for all like the maximum uh, benefits are like summoner for the magic stat, monk for uh, stamina, vigor is like knight, I believe, and what is this? Oh, thief for speed. And then Ninja for Dual Wield, Mystic Knight, Spellblade, and then Ranger for Rapid Fire. Okay. Okay. Actually, I'm not going to need those. I don't know why I'm about to spend that money. Because you feel <laughs> like spending money. So, yes. Anything. Mm -hmm. Can be wielded by a freelancer. Anything. Okay. Anything. So I'm gonna let Ferris use the Excalibur and the Enchanter. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'm gonna put on this to give her a further magic boost. And now. When all jobs are mastered on the other characters, they'll get to be freelancer. They'll get to have fun. Okay. Of course, the real question is, do I want to buy other hats, or do I want to keep them on the black hood? I don't know. Let's see how different it is. Oops, wrong one. Mm-hmm. No, I'm like, trying, like, to, okay. trying to ignore the laws of the universe. Well, it's not that we're ignoring them, but we're about to enter the void. Where the <clears> laws <throat> of the universe mean nothing. I'm just gonna buy one more. If I wanted someone to have, like, huge physical defense, crystal mail would be the best. Mm -hmm. Except it's heavy as hell. So, in the game, you usually want to go for the black costume, black garb. And then you'll usually use the black robe instead of the white robe, because it gives more magic stat. White robe mm -hmm. gives, like, three to stamina, two to magic. I see. Now, real question is, how am I on my pharmacy? Uh, more potions. Uh, so earlier, I, I, I saw the ending of the first Akame Got Kill manga. Oh, the ending? Yes. It finally ended. Everybody dies, the end. No, what happened? I, ironically, um, spoiler territory, people are bad. Ah, who with. cares? Unlike the ending of the anime... Tatsumi is totally alive, but he's now literally fused to the dragon of his thing? Uh, yeah. Kinda, that was gonna happen. He's now fused to the dragon, and Akame killed the dragon and not Tatsumi. <laughs> How that works, Wait, I Wait, so know. he was fused to the dragon, so Akame killed the dragon so that Tatsumi could be alive? There were two lives, Tatsumi and the dragon, and Tatsumi would've died if the dragon died. Well, yeah, obviously. I'm not gonna buy elixir. So he himself became the person who owned the entire body and the dragon died thanks to Akame's skills? Well, her sword. And of course, for some reason, one creepy woman keeps Estes hand. Well, obviously, that hand is going to go towards a very important purpose. Yes, um, let's just say we, we, we know there are many places it could go to. Let's not say which ones we think they're going to. Hey, 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 hey. I 
should have probably bought some of those. Actually, I need to stock up on scrolls. I looked at it and I was like, okay, how does this end? Oh, look! In the fire. Mostly, mostly the same, except Akame and Tatsumi are totally alive and now Tatsumi just has a huge body. Huh. So mine is still just, you know, comatose? Oh no, apparently they healed her. Oh, of course. And apparently he ends up with her in the end anyway. Well, yeah, that was kind of what their thing was. All I know is the ending was, oh look, everyone's dead but Akame and the one woman probably going to die soon anyway. What? Wasn't the leader supposedly lowering her life anyway? Um... Yeah, she was cutting off her life to release Susano's power, but he apparently, like, sent some back so that she could keep on living. Basically, hey, look, we said this, but we did something to call it back. Uh, sorry. Well, it's not it's like she's just like, oh, I have my normal life back. It's just, oh, well, I guess you can keep going. Sure. But Akame, Akame, of course, still leaves, though, because Night Raid is no longer needed in the country without all the crazy people around. Oh, yeah. I wonder how much of the manga was influenced by the anime. Anyways, time no. for the void. Okay. The end zone. So this mean if we fought the all the extra bosses, we would totally defeat them. It is actually possible to beat um, Omega and Shinryu mm -hmm. with these master jobs on Freelancer. Uh huh. I'm not gonna do it. I've already done it, and I actually have them recorded. I'll eventually upload those as, like, side videos. Mm -hmm. Alright. Where'd the water skills go? God damn it. All the way at the bottom. God damn. Because you don't need water on the desert. What are you talking about? Ninja! Throwing the water skill, doing 700 damage to each enemy. <laughs> Ferris doing about 1,400. Mm -hmm. Why are they not taking extra damage from water? I have no idea. Logic. They don't care. See? Ferris now has the same magic stat as the Bard. Without having to put on the equip skill for Bard. Please tell me that's what water said. God damn it. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so. So, Void Adventures! They're gonna be going through a lot of weird ass places. That are, feel like disjointed, but it's the Void, so the laws of the universe mean nothing. The laws of the universe mean nothing. So lovely. These are dudes that I don't want to actually fight directly, so. Please run. <laughs> I'll continue to fight while I run. At least you're not trying to win the game with four berserkers. <laughs> Never. Has someone actually managed to win with four berserkers? Someone has. Yes, yeah, someone has. Like, but it last year, there were like five people with berserker risk who ended up quad zerking. And one of them managed to actually beat the game. Mm -hmm. So they were very lucky. Either that or they did a lot of grinding. Oh, facing sideways. What did Loon do this year since I, I haven't heard much about Loon? Uh, well, it's because I don't really have the capacity to watch his videos, but apparently he was doing like. He was lapping the game. Lapping? Yeah, he was like, as soon as he finished one, he did 
another one all the way through, and then did another one after that. I think he was on, like, his seventh run. So he was trying to get a lot of charity money in. I don't think he actually donated anything. You he can do without donating? Yeah, you can play without donating. I guess that's one of his big seasonal it's, things to do. Yeah, it's only if you pledge, or like you do the job fair that you, like, donate. Well, job fair is a necessary donation. Cycloskull. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, that's right. I should be... So, what job would you never want to do a PS4 on? What job? What job? Like, even if you got it, you would be like, no, I don't want this. Uh, Oracle. Oh, yes, you mentioned that. You did not like <laughs> you... <laughs> The whole a disaster is coming. I'm sorry, Revenant Kyoku, but what the fuck? Like, who is using those? Also, if someone was playing like the the non GBA versions, they just basically didn't have their fourth job. Mm -hmm. Because Oracle's only in one version. Oracle, Gladiator, Cannoneer, and uh, Necromancer. But I don't think Necromancer. Or no, not Necromancer, because you have to actually beat the game in order to get access to Necromancer. Oh, is that the same for Oracle? No, Oracle basically... There are four extra jobs added to the GBA version as just, like, bonus content. And three of them are given to you just by going to the, uh... The, like, sealed temple entrance. But you can't actually enter it until you've completely beaten the game. Okay. But just by going to the entrance after clearing all four dungeons and turning in all four tablets... Mm -hmm. You get a. You a go clock. in, and it's just like, huh, this door's closed. And then there's suddenly a guy there. He's like, huh, what are you doing here? Oh, I found these things here. These weird crystal shards. Take them. Yeah. So basically, Necromancer was never being used because you actually have to yeah. beat the game to get ne it. Necromancer is. Not only do you have to beat the game, you have to beat the entire sealed temple in order to get to. Enuo, the super secret final boss. Which I'm sure everyone loved to fight. It was literally the boss made in order to counteract all of the gimmicks that people love to use to cheese bosses in this game. Mm -hmm. Enuo has like five off screen targets so that rapid fire has a very high chance of just not hitting him and hitting one of the non-existent targets. Oh, so... So it so renders rapid-fire useless. Yeah, it renders rapid-fire useless. It also has an ability that, like, shoots down jumping dragoons. Mm -hmm. And, oh my god, I read, like, enough of it for me to just be like, nope, 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 never doing this. So you have never tried this infamous boss fight? Oh, hell no. I haven't even gone into the sealed temple. It is a travesty. Well, what boss fight would you compare it to that you've actually done and finished? <sighs> okay. Um... I'm just gonna keep going to find more things about it. Um, one of the post Dark Erde Kaiser Gnosis bosses. Mm -hmm. Okay. Basically, the America only ones. Mm -hmm. That for some reason were added in for the hell of it. Because after fighting Erde Kaiser, which is a fight that already took, like, well over an hour... Okay. Those things are just... oh, God damn. Not worth it? No, nah, because you don't get anything for it. It's just basically bragging rights at that point. I was just mm -hmm. like, you know what? Fuck you. 
Oh, shit. Yay. No. Yay. I should probably put Flea on uh, Deku there so we can get the hell out of these fights. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, the general thing. Speaking oh. of... Yes? We just got moited. No. Come on. Come on. Is that Death Dealer undead? Nope. About time. Damn. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... Yes? Let's equip Flea. <laughs> we're gonna make this easier. Which is funny, because I'm about to go into an area that doesn't have encounters. Oh look, we're back in uh we're back in the Mirage Village. Oh my. Huh, that's weird. Hey, can I oh. Hey, nice. They're frozen in time. And space I actually was talking with Ruth earlier about uh the concept of Doctor Who. And why it's still like apparently so relevant. <laughs> and I was just kind of not because I don't like the show that much. I mean, it has aspects that are redeemable, and it's not like it's a bad show. No, it just it takes a look it's at its own continuity things. and just says fuck it. I, I I had gotten to the point where I sat there and I was like, what is the point of watching every season now? Yeah. yeah. Like, now that we're gonna get, what was it, now we're on our 14th Doctor. I'm sure these are fine. No, 13th. No, 14th, technically. 13th. I can't tell, honestly, what they're doing with their touch. I'm sorry, the, the War Doctor doesn't count because he was still technically the same. He was still technically, uh... Number eight. Technically, if you don't count War Doctor, it's 13. If you do, it's 14. Why would you count okay. War Doctor? We'll, we'll argue. That War Doctor you... existed for like one movie and that was it. Yes, because they probably would have had him more. Bless his soul if he had died. I mean, but then again, they had recreated uh, the first Doctor for the Christmas thing for uh, 12. You know? No, I don't. That was the point where I stopped watching. Uh, the, la the, the, the Christmas episode for the transition from Capaldi to Foster, they recreated the first Doctor for like one Christmas special. Okay. Why? I don't know. They. I guess they want to. Fan have wank. Huh? Fan wank. Why ever do. That's the thing about Doctor Who now, though, is that a lot of it is basically fan service. Well, and what I haven't really understood is what is so good about the show. Like, don't get me wrong, it has production value, it has some cool aspects, but then you start staring, but every Doctor has a Cyberman episode, every Doctor has a Dalek episode, every Doctor has some episode where their companion, they might have to drop their companion or something, or their companion might die. Ah, yes. Because I the mean, laws of the universe mean nothing. We can be fabulous. <laughs> The question is, how many more of these do I have? 
So I don't think I collected all of them. Oh, I collected two of them. That's pretty good. But I think just what kills me is... I have tried to understand, like, the people that are Whovians. They're like, oh, Doctor Who is great. I'm saying, going... Is it? After two seasons... After after all the seasons I've watched, and I haven't really watched full seasons because one, I don't. I'm gonna say the most controversial words ever. I'm not a fan, a huge fan of David Tennant. Well, neither am I. I I'm was gonna say the same thing. Fan of Matt Smith. I can watch Matt Smith, but I'm not that huge a fan of Matt Smith himself. I love Matt Smith, Doctor. He was great. He's a he's a good actor. I'm not going to argue his Doctor Who is bad. I'm just saying I'm not a fan of watching Matt Smith Galvant. Well, like, my favorite thing about Matt Smith, Doctor, was that it was like he was trying to be a kid again, but you could clearly see his age. Which is funny, considering he's actually the... I think he's technically the youngest actor to have been the Doctor. I think David Tennant's older than him. Well, to be fair, I think the problem is... People have this huge impression of things, and it kills me when people are just like, well, but this is better, and I'm like, no, it's not. Uh-oh. He's trying to go through the woods, but now this, this woman's in the way. Woman, get out of our way. And now we fight Wood Sprite. <laughs> Alright, so Wood Sprite's deal is that she casts Reflect on herself and reflects spells off her body. Alright, let's carve her into bloody paste. <laughs> And just throw the double lance. Mm -hmm. Also, if you physically attack her, she counters with drain. But that doesn't count for throwing, uh, throwing weapons at her. And Deku just got pulled. Mm -hmm. uh, don't have too many weapons I can throw that aren't legendary. That's cool, though. Throw a scroll. Where is your armoire of invincibility when you need it? Oh, fuck. The armoire of invincibility? Or the armor of invincibility? I'm saying armoire, darling. Yeah. Where's your armoire of invincibility when you need it? The armoire of invincibility. I don't know why I just physically attacked again. When, yeah, it's just gonna be doing that. Okay. Hindsight 2020. Mm -hmm. It's time to sing. They can sing, they can dance. After all, Miss This is France. <laughs> what, you're not you're not gonna do the safety dance song? No. I'm gonna make a reference to a really good Disney movie instead. Mm -hmm. And now Rain is old. <laughs> Use the magic shuriken, but I don't want to keep. Mm. It's gonna take forever to get through this fight, otherwise. Mm -hmm. But hey, at least Krill can't be interrupted because she doesn't really attack physically. Yeah. She just casts magic. Oh, by the way, if you go into the fight with the uh, reflect rings on, or if you put reflect on yourself, she'll actually. Bounce recovery spells off of you and onto her. So never wear them. Yeah. It's better to just leave <laughs> yourself either with, like, the Hermes sandals to go fast or... <laughs> See, that's what's saving me. The Hermes sandals not only auto-haste, but that means because you're hasted, you mm -hmm. cannot be slowed and you cannot be stopped. Oh, and she's dead. Okay. <laughs> First boss of the void done. Uh -huh. I don't think she even reflected herself. <clears throat> Probably because I uh, smacked her in the face and then she countered instead. Wait, wait, mm -hmm. wait. Is it your turn? It is your turn. Mm hmm. Okay. The true power 
of the crystals mm -hmm. is that they contain the power of the void. Mm -hmm. And so the laws mean nothing to the crystals. Because they are the laws. You and these crystals, man. You gotta stop looking at them. Oh, we run. <laughs> oh, he just did two earthquakes in a row. How did he manage that? Oh, he's a, he's a crazy one. So yeah, the thing about the void is a lot of the enemies in here are <laughs> insanely powerful, but they don't actually give much more experience than the uh, the so enemies. It's pointless. Yeah, grinding here is kind of hard because there isn't a reliable way to just absolutely murder them. Because also that was a dragon, and um. Even though he's a dragon, he's not a dragon type, so he doesn't take extra damage from dragon weapons for some reason. I hate it. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. <laughs> my two freelancers are faster than my ninja. Uh-huh. That's the glory of the ribbon right there, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Also, do you want to see a magic trick? I've opened this treasure chest. Mm -hmm. Now it's closed again. But I opened it. And I closed it. Uh -huh. For some reason, the little ring of here you are only shows that a chest has been opened when it's in that ring. Outside of it, for some reason, it just shows it's closed again. Yeah, you do magic tricks. <laughs> that is a dangerous being right there, which we will not face. A video will be added here mm -hmm. in order to show the means through which I defeated him in the normal fiesta. <laughs>